<clears throat> All right, Shalom. All praise to the Most High Yahweh. Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rekah HaKodash. Double honors of the apostles and elders of great millstone who grew well. Peace and salutations to your brother who reflect which is world and truth and sincerity. All right, this is going to be a quick, uh, this is going to be a quick hit. Okay, this is going to uh, Matthew chapter 5, and I'm going to start at verse 1. And uh, read on down to 11. Okay, this one is called Blessed Are They. It's Matthew chapter 5, verse 1. And seeing the multitudes, he went up into a mountain. And when he was set, his disciples came unto him. And he opened his mouth and taught them, saying, This is Yahweh speaking here. Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Okay, why are the poor in spirit to be blessed? And why are the poor in spirit uh, to be blessed with the kingdom of heaven? Okay, <clears throat> because his chosen people, the Israelites, are poor. The true Israelites are poor in spirit. Why they, they've been broken, they've been contrite, they've been, uh, all manner of you have been done unto them, okay? Uh, the true Israelites are, are really broken. They're broken both physically, mentally, and spiritually, okay? Through, through hardcore, you know, slavery, through, you know, uh, through so-called racism, through prejudice, through just living here, especially here in uh, America, Babylon the Great, in this prison camp. Our people have been broken. They're poor in spirit. Okay, they've been broken down. You know, which is why you have things like, um, uh, like on, on BET, they have with black girl magic, and then us uh, calling out people, referring to our men as kings and different things. We know to try to uplift ourselves, but we are we are poor in spirit. We need we need that salvation. Okay. Uh, blessed are they that mourn, for they shall be comforted. When you look at the state of our people, our people are in a, in a constant state of mourning. Okay, you know, from whether it be from black culture to us being killed in the streets to uh, black so called so called black on black crime or you know whatever it is, our people are in a constant state of mourning. Okay, and blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. Okay, meek are the lowly. And the true, uh, the true, uh, the, or the elect, well, matter of fact, let's go back. The, the elect will be poor in spirit. They will not have a sense of pride upon themselves. They understand, hey, we're in a lower state. Okay, the elect will be mourning. Okay, because they understand that, that there is better. And not only that, but more for what we did against our power. Okay, the elect will be meek. They'll be lowly. It says, for they shall inherit the earth. Blessed are they which do hunger and thirst after righteousness, for they shall be filled. And the earth doesn't hunger after righteousness. These heathens don't care for righteousness. The two-thirds don't care for righteousness. Only the elect actually care for righteousness. And what is true righteousness? Uh, doing what's pleasing unto the uh, yeah, Father. Yahweh B'Hashem Yahweh That's what true righteousness is. Blessed are the merciful, for they shall obtain mercy. You got to be merciful in order to obtain mercy. Why? Because the Lord has been very merciful with us. Because we know at the end of the day, we deserve death. As a matter of fact, uh, let's grab that real quick. Ezra chapter 9 verse 13 it says and after all this has come upon us for our evil deeds and for our great trespass seeing that thou our power has punished us less than our iniquities deserve and has given us such deliverance as this okay we've gotten less than what we deserve yeah hardcore slavery less than what we deserve we deserve even worse than that you may not think so but we really do all right. Uh, blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see the Most High. And what is that pure? You know, without fault. You know, that white, without guile. Matter of fact, let's get that. Let 
Revelation chapter 14 and verse 3. Now I start at verse one. And I looked and lo, a lamb stood on the Mount Zion and with him in hundred and forty and four thousand, having his father's name written in their foreheads. And I heard a voice from heaven as the voice of many waters and as the voice of a great thunder. And I heard the voice of harpers harping with their harps. And they sung, this time about the hundred forty four thousand, and they sung as it were a new song before the throne. And before the four beasts and the elders, and no man could learn the song but the hundred forty-four thousand, for, uh, which were redeemed from the earth. These are they which were not defiled with women. Okay, these are the philosophies. These are the doctrines. Okay, the the Lord they, they, the Lord brought them into this truth, and the Lord set them on their path to serve Yahweh Shem Abishai, and that's that's where they go. For they are virgins, untouched. Uh, they, uh, these are they which follow the Lamb whithersoever he goeth. These were redeemed from among men, being the first fruits unto the Most High and to the Lamb. And in their mouth was found no guile. They were white, no fault, for they are without fault before the throne of the Most High. Okay. These are the pure. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called the children of the Most High. Okay. We 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 seek peace. Okay. We we understand that war has to take place in order for Esau Edom to be taken down, but we seek peace at the end of the day. Well, we are we is we Israelites are actually a very peaceful people, which is why it takes so much to rouse us up against these heathen nations. Blessed are they which are persecuted for righteousness sake, but theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Okay? It's a persecuted for righteousness sake, for the Lord, for trying to, for serving the Lord. Blessed are ye when men shall revile you and persecute you, persecute you and shall say all manner of evil against you falsely for my sake. For the sake of Yahweh Shai. Okay? For the sake of Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Shai, you know, you're blessed if, if, the, if these people hate you, for the sake of Yahweh Hashem Yahushua, for righteousness' sake, for the uh, for the name of the Lord, you're blessed. That's a good thing. You you know you're doing something right. All right. But this is just a uh, a quick hit. Matthew chapter five, one through one on down to eleven. So call along Yahweh Hashem Yahushua, Hashem Rakakwadash, Shalom.